Hello, my fellow Americans. My name is Joel Johnson, and I'm the Big Country Gun Guy, owner of GunStuffStore.com, coming to an interweb near you. Today, I wanted to do a fireside chat real quick about five tips for a family man. Let's go ahead and open our shooter's Bibles. Open it to the book of handguns. All right, number one tip for a family man, always have a plan, but make sure it's flexible because sometimes plans need to change. Sometimes you might get a, uh, a wrench in the cog, something might happen, but always have a plan, something to start out with and practice that plan. Number two, train yourself and your family for different situations. You never know what might happen, but always talk about it. You might, you know, might save your life someday. Number three, always carry the basics. Carry a first aid kit, survival backpack, useful things. Think about it. If you're in the north and you've got a snowy, you know, snowy winters, might be a good idea to carry not only jumper cables, but carry a blanket, carry some water, carry, you know, some snacks. Just keep them in your vehicle at all times, just in case. You know, throw some granola bars in your trunk and a blanket and a jug of water because, you know, if something happens and you're stuck out in a blizzard or something, might be the difference between life and death. Or if you're in the south, you know, <laughs> swim trunks and uh, some good food. I don't know. I'm not from. I'm not from there. Uh, number four, be aware of your surroundings. That is extremely important because who knows what's going to happen if you're not aware of your surroundings. Be be aware of surroundings at all times. Never go below awareness level yellow. So, the uh, threat levels starts off at white. White is your head's in the cloud, you ain't got a care in the world. That's very dangerous, my friend. You don't want to be there. Yellow is, you're just always looking around, you're aware, kind of just looking at people, checking your situations and your, uh, you know, just your surroundings, making sure that you know what's going on. Uh, keep your back to the wall in a restaurant or, you know, if you go somewhere, just keep an eye. Uh, know where the doors are. And, you know, some people might say that you might be paranoid or something like that. Or, you know, the people that are in the white uh, threat level, They'll ask you, what's wrong with you? Why are you looking around? Why are you acting paranoid and stuff? You're not acting paranoid. You're caring about your life and the lives of those around you. That is what's important. And number five, maintain good communication and relationship with friends and family. Your friends and family are the best commodity that you can have. It's better than guns, food, water, anything like that. Because if you had water, guns, food, everything, but you didn't have friends and family, then you're putting yourself out there. A, uh, a lone sheep or a lone deer, <laughs> whatever you want to say, a lone animal is at the most, uh, they're in the most danger. Because if a pack of wolves comes around, that loner is going to be the one that's going to get eaten. So surround yourselves with good friends and family and maintain good communication, all right? This has been five tips for a family man. Stay planned, stay protected. God bless you. God bless America.